Give me the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you Hey guys, welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy and I'm so glad to have you. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna get a general collective reading for everyone who sees this video. So I am manifesting that this video finds the people it's meant for. Okay, can I get three cards here? Woo! All right, we have Black Cat. Fortune meets opportunity. It's going to happen. This is happening, okay? There's some kind of opportunity. There's some kind of luck that is surrounding you right now. Use it to your advantage. You have very lucky energy. And when you see black cats, this is a sign that you're aligning with that luck, okay? All right, let's keep going here. We have Night Song, Hidden Talents. Okay, you guys, you guys know you're talented, right? I mean... You do, right? You're very talented, okay? There's some kind of special thing that you have. Maybe people don't know you do it, maybe they do, but it's almost like you are repressing your abilities because you don't think that you can do anything with them or anybody will find you or you can't make it happen. This could be in business, it could be artsy stuff. It just, it, it's different for different people, but I feel like you're not honoring your truth when you deny your talent, okay? I know it's hard. I know it's hard. And I do feel like there's work to do on this talent, like there's a skill that needs to be gained to help further the talent, but you're not doing yourself any favors by not leaning into that. It's time for you to believe in yourself, okay? You can do all the spiritual work in the world, but you can't really walk into the truth of yourself if you don't believe in yourself, okay? And it's time for people to go all in because opportunity, luck is around you. Uh, and this is a gift. This is a gift that you have received because of all the work and um, stuff you've been through. You know, we all deserve a break. And I feel like for you guys, there is a break coming. Okay. All right. Let's get another card here. I'm filling the bottom card. We have change. There is change coming for you guys. And it has to do with you owning this talent. Okay. Just do it. Just step forward, you know, just just be bold, you know, and whatever happens, happens, you know. If you don't try, you never know. If you give up, you never know, you know. Sometimes uh, the test really is our determination. You know, spirit wants to know, are we determined to make this happen? Are we determined to see it flower? Are we patient? Can we grow at the same time we're gaining the skill? You know, um, and at the end of the journey, at the, the end of the crossroads, where, well, well, you meet in the crossroads. I'm seeing like a V. So I'm seeing like a crossroads where you could go this way or you could go this way. And one road is going to lead to a place where your talent is really going to be noticed. Your talent is going to be, um, I'm feeling abundance here coming from a talent or ability, okay? It may not come in as quick as you want, and it may not come in the way you want it to, but the universe is doing its very best. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing like the guides and the ancestors and the angels around you are doing their very best to help you walk into the truth of this, okay? And I know it is difficult because I feel like there's obstacles here. There is, like for some of you guys, your self-esteem has been really damaged by like trauma and things like that, but you know, this kind of talent hidden behind like trauma, it really makes it very powerful when you overcome, okay? It makes you almost a beacon. Well, it does. It makes you a beacon of light for other people. You give hope and inspiration to other people when you rise above. And that doesn't mean you forget or repress. You work through it. I feel like you guys are working through your shit, like you're owning it, you know? And you may not realize that as you do that work, there is gifts that come with it. And one of them is this luck. You guys are getting into a very lucky time and change is coming for you. I feel this is positive change. This is the kind of change that will elevate your frequency. Okay. So, but first we, before we can meet with our, you know, our manifestations and things like that, we have to really uh, raise our own frequency. And really you can't even think about uh, a manifestation until your frequency is is raised, right? But there's an awareness of your frequency changing that helps you become aware of this gift, this ability, this luck, and that kind of stuff. You become aware that the frequency you're in is different. It is changed. You are moving forward, okay? And this is part of owning yourself, 
okay? You ha yeah, we've been owning the bad, okay, in our shadow work. We've been saying, yeah, I'm this, yeah, I'm that, I've been through this, I've been through that, this is who I am. Now it's time to own some of the good stuff, okay? The stuff you want, the good qualities about yourself. You can't do one without the other. You have, you have to move in, you know, you, you have to move in unison because the goal here is balance. It is acknowledging both our light and our dark walking in a kind of unity consciousness where we make decisions that serve our, our highest good. And those decisions also reflect within the collective and help other people make decisions that are in their highest good. Yes, you may get judged for being selfish or self-centered, but many times the, the decisions we make that are in our highest good they serve people around us. They wake people up. Um, they remind people that, you know, there's more possible than what we've been told, you know. And I feel like this luck here, this is, I, you guys need to use this to your advantage, okay. You need to gamble a little bit, okay. You need to take a little bit of risk. I'm not telling you to do things that are uncomfortable, like, uh, not uncomfortable. They're going to be uncomfortable. But um, I'm not telling you to do things that aren't healthy or safe or anything like that. But there's a need here for you to gamble on yourself. And I've said this in a different reading. I can't remember where. But the best gamble you'll ever make is on yourself. Okay. Always gamble on yourself. Okay. You are worth it. You're worth the effort and the energy. All right. Okay, YouTube, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day, and I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye, guys.